Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's important video, we are going to talk about one important question that is being asked many times in many companies these days. So that is, have you ever worked in support project? So in this video, we'll try to you know, see how we can answer this specific question, which is very, very important in your next questions. So stay, stay tuned till the end and let us get started. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So guys, try to understand here one important point here that, you know, this question is very critical in your interview because there is a notion that if you say that, you know, I've worked in a support project or I've worked on production support project, there are chances that, you know, uh, HR might not consider you. Right, so there is one notion like this in, you know, uh, interviews whenever you go. Or they will say that, you know, never tell that, you know, you are working in a production support project like that. Because everyone wants, uh, you know, a developer profile, right? But in a developer life, if I try to speak very honestly, at one point or the other point, you will definitely work in a production support system that will undoubtedly give you experience of how the structure is in the real time in production environment. Because see, for 12 months around the year, every month, it is not that, you know, you will be developing something. It cannot happen, right? So if you are purchasing a vehicle, right? Once we purchase vehicle, we'll try to use that for a certain amount of time right it's not like you know once the fuel is over you are going back and purchasing a new vehicle no right so similarly here once you create your dashboard someone is going to use that right or some team is going to help that you know uh, help in seeing that you know that dashboard is up and running all the time whatever you have implemented is working fine with everyday changes to the data there are no issues in that right so that team is production support team and what is the if you think practically what is the end goal of any report okay what is the end goal of any report that you are creating right i'm cre assume i'm creating a dashboard today what is the end goal end goal is we need to publish our report or move it to your system, which is a stable environment. That environment is our production support, right? So there is one system or there is one team who is or who will always be working to make sure everything is up and running fine, right? So see your any web pages, your Mintra site, your uh, Amazon site or your Flipkart site, whatever you said, they are running up and running all the time. So there is a team that is maintaining. It is not like, you know, every day they are creating that, you know, something like that. So there is a team who is maintaining. So that does that mean that whoever is working in a production support system is based? No, it is not like that. It is just a notion. So what we can do here, here. So, you know, telling that, you know, you have exposure on production support system is no negative according to me, to be very specific, because that gives you an understanding of how system is, how you, you will get to know how the things work there. So like say there are 10 developers, assume there are 10 developers who are creating 10 dashboards. Now, end of the day, all these 10 reports, will be moving it to production, right? Now, in this 10, assume you are creating only one. So you might not be aware of other nine reports, right? But the, this production guys will be aware of all of these 10 reports. So they will know in and out of all of these reports. They will know how to fix that. Now tell me who has a better exposure on report. It's you who have developed one report or it's someone who is maintaining 10 reports. Just the difference is here, he has not developed that report. But from learning perspective, he has got you know exposure to see how these 10 reports or 10 dashboards were created.
that way he will be learning more okay so don't forget whenever you are getting a question like this you can try to justify and tell them that okay you know you have exposure in the production environment where you have learned about the system you have seen how reports work you have maintained these many reports on your own that will give some confidence here so don't take this question as negative and you know you know try uh, become worried that okay i should say yes or no like that okay so it's okay you know it's okay but focus that you know majority you have you know like like i always say split your profile here split split your profile here okay so some it should be developer or development and some part should be production and some should be migration all of as a developer or as a coder or as a tableau developer you should have hands on experience on all of these three core areas that is that is what your focus should be whenever you are creating your resume or whenever you are trying to answer any question make sure you know it is covering these important points okay maybe the weightage wise if i talk maybe the production might have little less development will have more okay so that is the you know expectation from the market but undoubtedly it should have you know some points in your resume that is definitely going to add okay so i wanted to make a video on this because you know this question was being asked multiple times in recent times like you know have you ever worked in production support system then don't shy away from that you know because no it's not like you know we will never work in production support system or you know 12 months your development project will continue to run it is never the case at some point of the time or at least for few months you will be pushed into support project like you know rahul they'll tell uh, rahul you know there are two three reports you have to maintain that server until we assign you next project to make sure you know this re the reports are working fine you know make sure the smaller enhancements whatever are there you know you are fixing that like that so you might get chance to work in this but advantage is you are going to see the entire stable system here unlike your dev environment where sometimes data is present sometimes data is not present the quality of data is missing like that but in production you have real time data real time volume real time issues like everyone wants to fix their production issues and you will be always on your toes that will give you an edge like say you have to fix this issue on priority right now because you are someone who has got expo exposure of being a developer they will expect the they will expect that you can solve the issues very quickly or you know that is what will be the expectation that's why don't shy away from answer in this question and say that you know or no i don't have any exposure you can tell that you know you know yes i have worked uh, uh, for a couple of project as production support you know engineer where my role was to you know maintain the entire tableau servers where there were you know 40 to 50 reports like that so in and out every day you might be getting some data issue some job failures some access related issues or smaller enhancements this type of you know issues you might get in the environment okay so i hope this video was helpful if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to you know give a comment let me know how did you feel about this video see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day